in this video we are going to solve a system of two equations in three variables by Cramer's rule it seems odd isn't it because we are told that this system cannot be solved by Cramer's rule but let's do it consider a system of two equations in three variables we write this system in matrices form uh, we label a first matrix uh, as a second matrix as x and third matrix as b so we can write ax is equal to b where a b and x are given now we first find the determinant of this matrix a because if the determinant of this matrix a is zero then there will be no solution because the matrix c will be singular uh, but if the determinant of a is non-zero then we will have a solution so let's find the determinant of matrix a we find uh, the determinant of this non-square matrix using Roddick's uh, definition for determinants of non-square matrices uh, this definition says this determinant is evaluated in this manner here first column is associated with the second column and we construct a 2 cross 2 determinant minus first column is associated with the third column and again another 2 cross 2 determinant is constructed plus second column is associated with the third column and another 2 cross 2 determinant is constructed these 2 cross 2 determinants can be easily evaluated and we get the value of the determinant of a to be minus 5 as the system has a solution so we apply Cramer's rule to solve it according to Cramer rule x1 will be equal to a x1 determinant over a determinant now we construct a x1 the matrix a x1 uh, we are given matrix a 2 1 1 1 minus 3 2 and matrix B as 4, 2. Uh, in matrix A, the first column represents x1, second column x2, third column x3. To find x1, we replace the column of x1 by 4, 2, and A x1 is constructed as 4, 2, 1, minus 3, 1, 2. Uh, so x1 becomes uh, the value of determinant of a is uh, minus 5 which we have already found uh, now we find the determinant of uh, this uh, matrix 4 1 1 2 minus 2 3 we again apply Roddick's definition for determinants of uh, non-square matrices and solve it as here again first column is associated with the second column minus first column is associated with the third column plus second column is associated with the third column uh, we evaluate these uh, two cross two determinants and we get the value of x1 to be 3 now we find x2 x2 is equal to determinant of a x2 over determinant of a now we construct a x2 we know that a is equal to 2 1 1 1 minus 3 2 and matrix b is a 4 2 now we replace 1 minus 3 which is a column for x2 with the 4 2 and we get a x2 the matrix AX2 as 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 2. Now we find its determinant. So X2 can be written as this. Here again, the determinant of A is minus 5. Uh, we evaluate uh, the determinant in numerator by Roddick's definition for determinants of non scale matrices as after. Uh, evaluating these two cross two determinants we get the value of x2 to be minus one now we find x3 
x3 is equal to determinant of ax3 over a determinant again ax3 is uh, constructed from a to 1 1 1 minus 3 2 and b matrix b 4 2 here the column of x3 will be replaced by 4 2 and we get ax3 as 2 1 1 minus 3 4 2 now we evaluate x3 uh, the determinant in the numerator is again found by the uh, rodix definition for non square uh, determinants so after evaluating uh, this determinant we get the value of uh, x3 to be minus 1 now we verify our result we have obtained x1 to be 3 x2 to be minus 1 x3 to be minus 1 now we replace uh, these values in given system and see whether they satisfy it or not this is the first equation we replace the values of x1 x2 and x3 and we get 4 is equal to 4 so these values satisfy the first equation now we write the second equation again we replace the values of x1 x2 and x3 and we uh, find that 2 is equal to 2 so these values x1 is equal to 3 x2 is equal to minus 1 x3 is equal to minus 1 satisfy the given system of two equations in three variables so this system has a solution x1 is equal to 3 x2 is equal to minus 1 x3 is equal to minus 1